All right, ladies and gentlemen, we were working on a 2001 Honda Odyssey. This will cover from 99 to 2004, and probably above that as well. Um, a lot of these vans, uh, a lot of these pilots, um, Ridgelines, Odysseys, the Accord V6, the TL V6, the CL V6. A lot of applications that, that, J, that have the J Series V6 Honda have this high pressure power steering line. And it leaks. It leaks a lot. I'll put some videos in the description below. But typically you're going to find out right here at the high pressure side, where, this is where it mounts onto the, the hose mounts onto the power steering pump. And right here you have rubber and right here you have metal and it crimps together and you get, a lot of times you get a leak from here. This van had a leak, you start, you started the vehicle and it just started spraying out uh, power steering fluid. But what I wanted to show you today is I didn't want to show you how to do this because there's already a couple videos out there that show you guys how to remove this line. I'll put links in the description below of where you guys can see those videos. What I wanted to show you is some tips and tricks on how to get this out. I couldn't find any videos on how to um, remove this hose. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but let's go over it. Okay, starting at the bottom, the part that goes, uh, the 14 millimeter fitting that goes into the uh, power steering rack. This is 14 millimeter. You have a flare nut wrench. I picked these up from AutoZone. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get these. It came in a set of three, 20 bucks, 14 millimeter. Go ahead and slide it over your pipe and it allows you to break that uh, fitting loose. If you can't get this off or you don't have money for this tool or you don't have this tool, one thing you can do is go ahead and get a pair of dikes or cut this metal line somehow and get a 3 8 14 millimeter socket and put it over the uh, fitting and break it loose that way. Sometimes these are really, really stuck on there, so you might find some difficulties with this fitting into the power string rack. Okay, moving up. You have a 10 millimeter bolt right here. You have one right here, okay? Moving up a little bit farther, you're gonna have a sensor. It monitors the pressure inside the, this high pressure power steering hose. It helps when you're driving. You see it reduces or eliminates, not reduces or eliminates, but it, uh, at slow speed it helps you turn easily. At higher speed it, it um, doesn't allow the steering wheel to turn as well. When you have this metal, or not the metal, you have this uh, casing, you have this rubber sleeve. Right, it came on the new one as well. I actually went ahead, I would just cut this off. I saw one video out there of a guy who said that uh, he had dirt and mud that was trapped in here, just rub against the line and, and ate it away and rotted out this metal. So I just went ahead and cut, the, cut this rubber sleeve off the new one. Moving up, you have another 10 millimeter bolt right here. It actually sits right here near the um, back of the uh, spark plugs, coil packs. Then you have two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the uh, the hose onto the power steering pump, which is right here. And you have an O-ring right here as well. The failure point on this old line was right here. The rubber that meets the metal, this crimp right here. And so you just turn on the engine, you'd see uh, power steering fluid just start just flowing out, squirting out. That's why I had to replaced, be replaced. The job took me about an hour and a half. And uh, when you guys go ahead, Fill up the power string fluid for this Honda, whether you're working on an Acura, a Pilot, a Ridgeline, an Accord, a CL, a TL, go ahead. Make sure you use uh, you only use Honda power string fluid. I'll pick to put a picture of that up right now as well. So to get this out, I actually uh, took the fitting of the power steering rack, went ahead, loosened up all five 10 millimeter bolts, got this free and clear, and then I took it out. I pulled this out from the bottom on the passenger side. I pulled everything out from the bottom. I had to bend this line a little bit to get everything to clear. I didn't bend the new one. I think, well, maybe I did. I didn't, I didn't bend it. I just manipulated the metal a little bit to make it a little bit easier to go around some of the stuff. You'll, when you guys get down there, you'll see what, it, what I'm talking about. But yeah, there, there, weren't, there were not any videos that showed, showed me how the guys were actually taking the line out and putting the line in. I found it easiest to pull the line from the bottom from the passenger side. Insulation was the same. I went down to the bottom, starting on the passenger side, I fed this up so it was out here dangling and then I fed the line onto the power steering rack and, t and uh, made sure that this was fit, or not fit, but made sure that this was secure as well before I tightened any other bolts up. And whatever you do, do not cross thread this. Start this by hand only do not cross thread it. You do not want to mess up your power steering rack. About the new line, I, everywhere I went, it was about a hundred and anywhere from a hundred dollars to one hundred and sixty bucks for this new high-pressure power steering hose. 
the, the cheapest and best deal I was able to find it on was rockauto.com. It was about 50 bucks shipped. So that's where I actually ended up going to get the new line. The only problem that I had when installing this line is that these holes that mount on the top of the power steering pump, they weren't big enough. So I had to get a drill and drill them out to make enough room. Or they, Actually, it wasn't enough room. They were big enough. They just weren't spaced out far enough. So it wouldn't actually, the bolt wouldn't actually take into the power steering pump. That's the only, uh, only issue I had. But it was an easy fix. I just drilled out the holes. Made them a little bit bigger to make the space a little bit wider. And I was able to get it in there no problem. All right, guys, if you have any questions about this at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can always email me, bunniesgarage at gmail.com. If you have found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, please consider subscribing to Bunny's Garage. It really helps me out. And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you.